this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video on a mistake that I made that I really hope you don't. So I wanted to show you the mistake that I made while installing this Noctua NH-D15S, a really simple oversight involving the backplate. I recently unboxed and installed that Noctua cooler and the LGA-1700 setup, and I made a very simple oversight that I want to demonstrate to you now to show you so you don't make the same mistake. This was pointed out by a viewer of mine, and thanks to nice one for doing that. Really appreciate it. Basically, I installed the bracket in the wrong position. So this is the original shot of me installing it. And I actually installed the back plate the wrong way around. Now it is perfectly suitable in this way. It did work and it will hold it in place. It's set up in a way that will work. But what you'll notice is there are some notches on there that are in the wrong place. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. I went through the installation process. I set it up and I found it was running quite hot. I did a video on how to make it run a bit cooler. A nice one suggested that perhaps the mounting of this bracket might be part of the problem with heating. I'm happy to report it isn't. But one of the issues that I found is that uninstalling it was a nightmare. Now, as you can see from the case that I have it installed, the power supply unit is blocking the back of the motherboard. So it's not a simple case of removing the cooler and then popping the back plate off. Actually sorting this problem out was a bit of a headache because I had to take off the cooler from the front. I had to remove several fans because there's not much room to negotiate around in this case. I had to take off several cables from the motherboard. I had to unscrew and unseat the motherboard from the case itself. And then I had to mess around trying to get that back plate off. And because obviously the long pins sticking through, you'll see it becomes a bit tricky to negotiate out. Now there's limited space because of the design of this case half of the back of the motherboard is blocked by the case itself, which means it isn't this case of being able to just simply slip it out through a hole. This is an ATX motherboard in a very small case. So there's limited room to negotiate around the back, which is unfortunate because other cases are built in. You have enough room to be able to access the back plate, but here I didn't. So you can see part of the process of doing this, a real frustration for me. My own stupidity is paying off. Now here you can see the proper position. So it should be this way up basically facing where those four holes in the middle are vertical so you can see them sitting into that position now i then had the problem of negotiating that back into the machine through the back carefully trying not to damage anything keeping it in a position where i could do it now i didn't want to take the whole thing out because obviously taking out all the cables would mean i had to remove all the fans as well because the amount of room in this case is very small so i would have had to take out all the fans to be able to get to the access to the power cables to take all them out and take the motherboard out so i was basically trying to do this in the easiest way possible but it was still a real pain that led to some sore hands and a lot of frustration but i did manage to get it back in and one of the things that's worth reporting is this made no difference to the temperatures because once i'd reseated it in the proper position and set it back in again i ran at the same benchmarks and i was still getting around 93 degrees c on cinebench so it's still running pretty hot one of the things i could have done is replace the thermal paste because i did say i've probably done that wrong and you can see the thermal paste as it sits now currently on the CPU. I could have cleaned that up and improved it, but what I wanted to do is standardize it to make sure that I had exactly the same results to see if this backplate problem would actually fix the temperature issues, and it hasn't done. So in the future, I'm going to be building this setup in another case anyway. At that point, I'm going to reapply the thermal paste and clean it up and see if it makes a difference to this CPU. Now, obviously, this is 12900K, so it's renowned for running really hot anyway isn't the top temperature that it will run at constantly but it is a very toasty thing and this cooler isn't actually in the optimal position either but anyway that's not the point of this video the point is i made a stupid mistake with a back plate please don't make the same mistake and just to reiterate one more time this is the position it should actually be in with those four holes in the center of the back plate sitting over the screws on the back of the motherboard this is the correct position make sure you do this this has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.